Hey guys, this is Peter, and a popular question that I get is, how do I unbrick my Android box, or how do I upgrade my operating system? Well, uh, let's cover those two together, because they're really kind of similar, and you attack them kind of the same way. There's first a little bit of knowledge that needs to come with this. Uh, you know, most of these boxes have a reset switch on them somewhere. And by that, I mean reset in quotes, because it's not really a reset switch. It's just a button. In fact, on this particular unit, you can actually push this button while it's running and nothing happens. Why? Because it's in a different state and it isn't really a reset button. But first, uh, let's go off where these buttons might be because some people often say, but let me just jump into this and uh, show you where they are most of the time. Here, I have a little demo that I'm going to show you, or a little video I'm going to show you, that shows you where some of these are kept. Here, for example, is it at the back of a port. This is a very common place on a lot of these Android boxes. Get a wooden toothpick, reach through the back of the port, and you will find a button back there. Now, uh, other people will often say, I have a button, but it doesn't work. Well, there is a special way to use it. You know, an Android box is a state machine. Now, what do I mean by an Android states? Well, you may be familiar with a box that may be booting or off. <laughs> Those are popular. How about running, sleep, shutdown? Those are all states. Uh, but there are some other states that you may not be aware of, like uh, uh, recovery or uh, reset or update. Those are all states as well. I'm going to show you how to get to those states using this button, and it's not that difficult. Now, most boxes, and I mean most, I have over 90 here, and they all work about the same. Uh, you use this button in a very special way. What did I do with that one? This one, I'm going to show you how to do it. I actually hold this button down. Now, some of them, it's inside of a port. Some of them, it's a button on the outside. I like to keep this little ejector that I get with my phone to reach into a lot of these boxes and find that small hole because it's comfortable to push and hold it. You can also do this with the paper clip. If you're reaching through a port, remember, use something that's non-metallic. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply power while holding this. Now, but this particular box, I'm going to show you this. This is an X28. And uh, this has an RK chip in it, or a rock chip. And I'm going to push and hold it. And then what I do uh, as I apply power, I hold it for a few seconds, several seconds, let's call it 10. And when I unplug it, it takes a while, but then it goes to a special state and it's called Android recovery mode. Now look carefully at the screen like this one. It tells you to use the volume up and down instead of your cursor keys. Why? Because it's in a different state and they want to make sure that you, uh, that you know you're in a different state. So here you go. I'm able to do all sorts of things. Now, the first thing and the first thing I want you to try is a reset. A reset brings it back to factory reset. You'll notice that when we looked on that state diagram, there was the recovery side and there was the booting side. Obviously, if you were getting stuck on the booting side, maybe you were stuck at a logo or something, uh, this would get you past that because you go into the other side, you're running the recovery program, you're actually changing the software over on the other side that may have been kept keeping you from booting. That may be enough. Now, a lot of people say, there's a new version of Android out and I want to go to that one. Well, maybe you don't. You know, your box was designed for a specific version of Android. And a lot of people think of, well, I run programs on the hardware. Actually, you don't. See, between the hardware and the application, those are two different layers. There's an operating system layer. Obviously, there's an operating system, and that's what you want to try and upgrade. You want to go to Android 8.0, right? Well, between the operating system and program and the hardware, there's another uh, layer, and that is called firmware. Now, firmware is nothing more than specialized embedded software that runs on your hardware. Now, when you think about cameras and DVRs, Blu-ray players, anything that needs to boot up, even your microwave, oh, pushing those buttons, how does that work? 
That's firmware. That's software that is hardware specific. Now you can't just download Android and load it on your microwave. That would be crazy unless it was an Android microwave and you had the firmware to enable those buttons and that hardware to talk to that software. So same thing here. When it comes to your box, you know, it's funny because you'll say, hey, you can't upgrade that box. People say, yeah, I upgraded mine. Go ahead and do it. Well, it's kind of like your central nervous system. You don't, wouldn't say, I don't feel that good. Try messing around with my spine. It needs to be very particular. It needs to be your exact box. Now you can go out and search on the web and oftentimes find a new version of firmware, but keep in mind, this is dangerous. This could brick your device quite easily. You're going to one side of the fence and trying to run software that changes the other side of the fence. And if you pick the wrong one, you could really injure the whole picture. So uh, only do this if something is incredibly jacked up. Now, I'm going to go and show you an example where there is firmware and happens to be this box. This is the TX28. I reviewed this box and said that I basically liked it with one caveat. It was stuck with, um, well, the wrong level of uh, a firmware, if you will. Um, let's see. Let me show you this. Because it tells you. All right. Now, what I did was I went online and I searched for... Tanix TX28 firmware. Now look at this. It's going to bring me to, here it is, Tanix. Now it comes from the manufacturer and it is TX28 firmware. Let's take a look. Here it is. And it actually says that it's an upgrade to the Google Play Store. Okay. And an upgrade to Kodi 18.1 so it can be uninstalled. That was my big complaint, is that it was our older version of software on there. I think it was Kodi 16 point something. And I couldn't uninstall it. So I, I gave it a, a, well, mediocre review because of that fact. But now I can download this and I can go ahead and make the upgrade. Now it's saying to procedure here is to copy the zip file onto a USB memory or TF card. That's really nice because TF card is like an SD card. That is very rare that it gives you a choice. Most of them will tell you not only to put it into a USB, but which USB. It's usually that specific. Because remember, when you're booting, these things don't know anything. They're dumb to the world because they're booting. So uh, this is kind of nice. It does offer me to do that. And I could, of course, upgrade this firmware. But I wouldn't just go looking haphazardly. Let's take a look here. It looks like they have a, Tanix has a, a nice site. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna go back. Let's see, it looks like Tanix has software for a lot of boxes, firmware downloads. Look at that, firmware downloads. And yeah, it makes you wonder why didn't they test it right the first time, but I usually like Tanix boxes and I definitely do like the fact that they're posting this stuff. Uh, I will say, be careful with these. These are production tools. This is going to flash your firmware. You can easily brick these devices. But in the case, if you have a box and you think, hey, I really want to upgrade this one, you can't. Now, people often say, but I want Android 8. Well, you can't unless your box or your manufacturer has come out and given you one. Now, this says it's for a Tanix TX28. There we are. It looks different than mine, which is a little bit concerning. But uh, I can go ahead and download that. And I have. I can follow the directions. And it looks like what I would do, well, is push this button, apply power, hold, count to 10, let go, and go to one of those modes. Definitely try resetting first. But you want to follow the process very, very carefully. Well, what the heck, let's give it a try. So here's what I did. I pushed the button down as I applied power and I held it down, held it. And then I just, well, at some point you just got to pull the pin and uh, we'll see if it gets us anywhere. So when I looked up at my screen, I saw this finally come up, it took a few seconds, but I did put the image on an SD card as a zip file, exactly like it said in the directions. 
So now I just take the controller and I, I use the volume down button and uh, you can use power to select. Don't get creative. Uh, it looks like I got an error. All right, so it wasn't, maybe not the right uh, firmware piece, but look, it did find it on the external SD card and there it was. And uh, I'm gonna keep trying it. I'm not gonna give up here, but this is how you can give it a try. This is how you can load firmware. And most importantly, how you can reset your box. Try that first. Uh, the number one issue that I've noticed with all the boxes that I've tried is try a different power supply. It seems the power supplies are tested separately and sometimes they're just not good and you get all sorts of problems that jump all over the place. So before you throw out a box, make sure you reset it. Could have factory reset and um, well, always check the power supply. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Talk to you soon.